Hey everyone, Perry and Riley here, and uh, we've got a new trailer review and reaction for you right now, because a, a big one has dropped right now. It is the first official teaser trailer for Fantastic Beast sequel, The Crimes of Grindelwald. I, I suspect this guy right here might be a little excited for this one. <laughs> uh, I'm real excited. Uh, I mean, okay, excited. I am a Harry Potter lover. Uh, I enjoyed the first movie. I'm interested to see what the second movie holds for us, but uh, the the campaign to get us ready for this, wands out, that got me, so I'm excited. So let's do this. <laughs> Come on now. I didn't even flinch because I mean, I'm used to this. My own personal wand. All day, wand. every day. <laughs> this is my own personal wand. Scott, thank you very much. You know who you are. Yeah, uh, wand this. wars, a collider happen very often between this guy and John Roke. I feel very left out. But, oh, well. What can he say? I'm a wizard. <laughs> I most certainly am not. All right, do you want to do the honors? Yeah. Spell the armos. That's not how that works. Whatever. <gasps> Hogwarts! Didn't expect to see I Hogwarts. I didn't expect Hogwarts. Nice. I have some questions huh. for you, Professor. Mm. Oh, they're just going right there. I love it. This is a surprise. There's a rumor that Newt Scamander is headed to Palace. Okay. <gasps> mm -hmm. I know he's working under your orders. What do you have to say for yourself, Dumbledore? If you ever had the pleasure to teach him, I feel like you're ready you to zap me with that one. <laughs> follower of orders. I, I love Jim Jude Law. Just, I think he's perfect for Dumbledore. When you're gonna have to pick a side. James back. Are you going somewhere? No. We're going somewhere. Jeez. <laughs> I really enjoy him. I, yeah. He, he stole the first movie for me. Hmm. So he crabbits. Ooh. Who will stand? Stand where? Against I the dark. It is against Grindelwald. Ooh. It has to be you. I like that. Cool. Ooh. That's the Deathly Hallows logo, right? The the triangly thing? Yeah, that is that what that was? I yeah. missed it. Okay. The only reason I think I knew that is because I think it's in the poster as well. Ooh, and, and that, okay. That would kind of make sense. It would make for, a lot of for sense for this story. Yeah, if Dumb well, Dumbledore should have the Elder Wand, so yeah. that that's one of the Deathly Hallows. So we will see. I like that. I like that. I'm not blown away. Yeah. I'm like I, I think I'm used to the the look of Harry Potter, meaning that it's like you know the effects are great, the the characters are great. Mm -hmm. I, I I'm well versed in the world. I think it's because of. You know, I was fine with the first movie. I'm kind of like, uh, okay, yeah. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, because I am a huge Harry Potter fan. I can understand yeah. that, though, because, you know, I I can't say I'm, like, a huge Harry Potter fan. I really enjoy the original series. I, I love it. I do love it, but <laughs> I know there's bigger fans out there. Well. And, you know, I saw Fantastic Beasts, and, and I, I liked it a lot. I had a lot of fun with it. I didn't walk out with the need to see it again. And the fact that I haven't seen it since its release, I think is causing a little bit of a disconnect here. And even as someone who has watched the original Harry Potter series quite a bit, and I, I like Jude Law a lot. This has nothing to do with Jude Law. There's something about this trailer that almost felt like it was missing that really strong connection where I feel like I should have been, you know, I had it a little when we saw Hogwarts at the beginning. I think that did the trick, yeah. but something about the way Jude Law is presented as Dumbledore in this, and I know it's just a teaser trailer, but I wanted to be like, wow, it's it's dumb, like have a, a stronger connection to that reveal. Yeah, I, I mean, I connect, once I saw Hogwarts, I'm like, yes, Yeah. but that is my love for Harry Potter. So there is nostalgia right there grabbing you, sucking you in for this. But then as you go off, I mean, you see the different characters. Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, it, it's, it is, I'm, I'm, I, I think Jude Law looks great. But yeah, there is a disconnect I'm feeling as well. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. It might be, is it franchise fatigue? Is it, uh, is it because we're not, we don't have Harry? 
I'm and not I, and willing to call it franchise fatigue just yet okay. unless this movie comes out and it doesn't meet our hopes and expectations. I, I think it just really has to do with that disconnect between this movie and the last one, or at least that is just from my personal perspective because I haven't been immersed in this world in so long. But seeing some of the things has brought that interest back out. Mm. I'm definitely excited to, because Jacob and Queenie stole that first movie for me. That right. entire movie was, it was all them to me. I did like Newt also, but but the two of them had that special spark that did make me walk away thinking, I can't wait to see those two again. Yeah, and it, we got a little tease of that when he's like, you're coming too. It's like, oh, yes, you know, I, it, Jacob stole it for yeah. me, especially. Yeah, I, I, I mean, maybe it's, we don't have the books. Did you ever read the books? I didn't read the books. Okay. And this was one of those instances where I saw the movie and I liked it so much that I went and I bought one of the books, but then I started reading the book and I couldn't really get into the books. I felt Whoa. like I knew what was happening. Hot take. That, that was like... How I don't know how old I was when the first Harry Potter movie came out. It was a very, very long time ago, and maybe it's fair for me to give it another shot. Well, the books are part of the reason I love the movies, because I thought the transfer was great, and so you're immersed in the books, and then you see it come to life on screen. There is a love for the books and the movies. They almost go hand-in-hand hand with a lot of us Harry Potter fans. We don't have a huge book. The Fantastic Beast book is is was kind of a, a fun... Like a textbook, right? It was like a textbook. It's like a, a, a thing to add to your collection you're not there's no narrative in it there's no like story in it so maybe that's why but i mean it's piqued my cu curiosity well I'll with jk that. rowling penning the scripts well that's it, it where is it's, essentially, it's always gonna be good. it's still her penning a new story just exactly. in a different format so yeah, I'm I'm excited to see what comes of this. Again, this too. this trailer did not start the countdown clock per se for me, but you know, it's it's still on my radar. It's on my radar <laughs> and my wand is out. So Yeah. That's, yeah, that's not going to be Let's put away it. the rest of the day. Um, all right, so that's our thoughts on the trailer for Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. <laughs> what do you think of this trailer? You know what to do. Hit that comment section below. Share some thoughts right there. Also, like and share this video, too. And subscribe to the Collider Video YouTube channel. You better have done that already. Tell all your friends and family to do it, too. See you soon.